Okay, hello everyone. Once more, this is Cedra again. Uh, and now I'm talking about VC towing. Oh no. They're really not that scary, you guys, so uh, let's not panic. Um, they're a little weird to look at, but they're actually easier to auto than CVs, as far as I'm concerned. So to auto VC, you're going to uh, make a duplicate of the file, kind of like you do when you're working with the CVs, and then put the offset near the end of the uh, sound. Um, then you're going to you're going to set your parameters. Um, again, a good um, consonant is 200. You're probably going to end up increasing that. Good cutoff is still five uh, negative 500. Excuse me. And then preutterance and overlap are 90 and 60. Don't change the preutterance and overlap this time. You will be keeping them at 90 and 60 while ochoing the VCs. Period. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to slide the uh, the eh, the offset so that once again, uh, not changing the overlap or preutterance, your overlap extends to the end of the clear vowel. So right at the point where the vowel stops um, being consistent and starts trailing off, um, you want the overlap to be there. And then the preutterance is just wherever it falls after that. It should be in the consonant somewhere, um, or at the end of the vowel, or something similar. Just keep those consonant. Then what you want to do is drag the pink consonant region over the entire VC. So you want it to cover the entire ending consonant sound because you're not going to want any of that to stretch. If it stretches, you weird and bad things will happen if that gets to stretch. So, um, so the only part that's going to be vowel is going to be the silence between the, between the sounds. So the uh, the white will just be uh, silence. Um, you want uh, the cutoff to take care of any. Uh, of the next sound that's coming in, uh, you want to check to make sure that you don't have any of the uh, of the next sound inside of your uh, white region. Uh, it's not. It's probably not going to be a big deal, but you don't want it to be there. It just that's not where it's supposed to be. Um, so if you took a break between your notes like you're supposed to, uh, it shouldn't be hard for you to get that space between. So VCs really aren't that difficult. Uh, you're watching CZ Oto. Um, Rioto halts uh, uh, Jodge, Jedj, that string. If your consonants are really hard like mine, uh, it'll be really easy to see where your consonant is, and uh, but that's really not that important except for that you know you need to cover it. If your consonants are really soft like CZ's, um, it won't be a big deal as long as you put the overlap at the end of the clear vowel and make sure that any sound coming out of the sample is covered by the pink region so that again the white is only silence. So then VCs really aren't that hard to auto, um, and they may look really weird, but they're really not that scary, and you should be able to do them no trouble. They're actually easier than, C uh, than just normal CVs. Uh, next we'll do some talking about USTs and how to actually make this thing sing. Uh, so yeah, 